Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to upload a world to a Core Keeper server. To do this, you must connect your server to an SFTP client and I will have a link in the description going over how to do so. First, log into the Bisect Hosting Games panel and choose your Core Keeper server. Next, choose the red Stop button to stop your server. We are then going to search in the bottom left of your desktop, percent app data percent. Once here, we are actually going to go back to app data, then choose local low. Once here, we're going to choose Pugstorm, then Core Keeper, then Steam, and then your Steam ID. And then lastly, you're going to go to the worlds folder. Once here, you will see all your single player worlds preceded by a number. So it'll be 0.world.gzip, 1.world.gzip. That's going to be important to know for the next step. Now we're going to connect our server to an FTP client. For this example, we're going to use WinSCP. Once we are logged into our server with the FTP client, we're going to choose the server underscore data folder, then the worlds folder. In this folder, we can drag one of the .gzip files into this world folder, depending on which world you would like to transfer over. We're gonna do the one.world.gzip file. We're just gonna drag this over into the WinSCP client and upload it into this worlds folder. Once that's finished, we're gonna go back to our games panel and choose the startup tab. Once here, where it says world index, since we've changed this world index to the one number, we're gonna change ours to one. Depending on what number you had before your file is going to be the number that you had. So if your file was seven dot world dot gzip, you are going to put number seven. Ours was one, so we put one. Once that's finished, we're gonna go back to our console and start our server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.